Our leads for group two, we have Mr. Cullen Harris. He's a biology, geology, and environmental science major. And I cannot pron pronounce the title of his uh, <laughs> presentation, so he told me to say, is the fungus among us? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hi, I'm Cullen Harris, and let's talk about everyone's favorite animal, the snake. So, Ophidiomyces opiopola is also known as snake fungal disease, or just SFD. It is an emerging pathogen that is not yet fully understood, but it has been documented to cause declines in multiple U.S. snake populations. It is highly persistent in the environment because it can exist free living in the soil, and then it can opportunistically colonize hosts. Fungal pathogens have been proven to cause severe decline in other taxa. We've seen this in white nose syndrome, in bats, and chytrid fungus, and amphibians. So why conserve snakes? Well, when you put the misplaced fears aside, snakes are crucial for proper ecosystem function, and they play key roles in complex predator-prey relationships. So how can we accomplish this? Well, snakes will need to be sampled in a wide variety of habitat types in eastern Tennessee. Once animals are located, they will need to be subjected to a full body swab. Once swabs are obtained, they can then be analyzed in the lab to determine if the animal was positive or negative for the infection. So this brings me to my little tree here. So the scope of this project is to first determine the presence and uh, prevalence of SFD in Eastern Tennessee. And then we can determine which species to be considered at risk. And then we can create proper conservation management practices and create proper biosecurity protocol that can then help us further reach this goal to prevent species declines. So in some of these pictures here, this animal is an infected animal. You can notice the lesions on its skin. And these are some animals that I swallowed last summer. So this project will put us on the leading edge of SFD research here in eastern Tennessee by taking a proactive approach to engage SFD before widespread population declines can occur. This will create a benchmark for future SFD research in our state and elsewhere. Thank you.